In this video, let us learn to draw an ER diagram for library management system. So the first step is we need to choose the entities. Entity is nothing but an object with physical existence or conceptual existence. So entity must be an object. So in library, books will be there. So book, it is physically present. We are able to touch, so it is physically present. And it is an object. Therefore, book is an entity. Next, member. Member is the person who is going to the library. To get books. To take books. So, therefore, member is a person and it is physically present. So, therefore, member is an entity. Next, publisher. The one who is making the copies of the books for many audiences. So, therefore, publisher is also a person. That person is physically existing. So, therefore, publisher is also an entity. We must write the entity name inside a rectangular box. So, the first rectangular box and I am going to write member. Second rectangular box, I am going to write book. Third rectangular box, I am going to write publisher. Next, attributes. Attribute is characteristics of entity. Now, member is the entity. So, member's characteristics is the attribute. So, I should write the attributes inside oval shape. So, member ID. So, if you are going inside the library to take a book, you must be a member of that library. An ID will be given to you. The ID will be unique for every person who belongs to that library. Like whoever has joined in the committee of that library will have unique member ID. So, therefore, it is a primary key. So, I should underline that. Next, Name of that member. Next, if the member is a student, register number of that student. Next, which department that student belongs to. So, all these will be the attributes. This register number is the register number which is provided in the college. Next, which department? Computer Science, IT, ECE or whatever department. Next, attributes of book. Book will have a title. So, name of the book. Next, author of the book. Next, the price of that book. Next, book, or, book will also have ID which is unique for every book. So, therefore, it is a primary key. So, I should underline. Next, attributes of publisher. Name of that person. Address of that person. Next, publish ID also. Publisher ID, which is unique for every publisher. I should join these entities using a diamond box which is the relationship. Through lines I should draw and join. So this diamond is known as the relationship. So inside this diamond I am going to write borrows. And inside this diamond I am going to write published by So, after becoming the member of that library, now for example, if I have become the member of some library, I will go to that library, I will borrow some book which is needed for me and that book, if it is wanted by many members, then many copies should be made. So, that will be made only by the publisher. So, that book will be published by the publisher. So, now, for example, you take some book that is needed by 10 people. Then 10 copies should be there. Only then I can provide it to 10 
members. So publisher should make 10 copies of that book. So the member will go to the library and borrow some book. That book will be published only by the publisher. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.